loading up, heading on our next adventure. We go sailing and snorkeling over to Buck Island. So what do you do when you're getting ready to go snorkeling? You gotta clean it up. You get an island style mustache. Island style mustache. But, but see when it's done? You don't know. See, it. look at he looks so good, <laughs> handsome. Whoop whoop. Just get give it all clean. Enough room for that mass to seal right there, and, and, and you're not sucking water the whole time. No Looks sucking good. salt water. No sucking we're, we're, salt, man. You'll still get Yay. some. Here we go. Bye. I don't want to drown. Okay, we have arrived. You ready? Look at, see, he's got his day glow green on, so when he falls in, we can find him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Taking you guys out to the snorkel trail first on the east end of Buck Island. Do some snorkeling for about 30 minutes, 40 minutes. And then we're going to head over to the beach side, hang out there for a couple hours. You can do some more snorkeling there, just, you know, relax. There's a great hike as well. If anybody starts feeling a little iffy, let us know right away before you get too sick, and we'll give you some isopropyl alcohol to sniff, and it makes you feel better very quickly. Oh, there you go, Mason boy. Yeah. Uh, us was all protected in the 60s by JFK when he came here and went snorkeling and decided to protect it. Right here it's about eight feet deep and then you can see this dark line that's the barrier reef. That's about one foot deep to two foot deep and then after that it drops off out in the blue water just offshore goes about 10,000 feet. It's almost always wavy and choppy in here but it brings a lot of fresh water in that uh, really gives a lot of life to the coral. See in some of the other spots of the island like on the uh, south shore it's more of just shallow almost mud. So tons of life here, tons of coral, lots of fish. Um, because it is protected there's no fishing, no spear fishing, so the fish don't ever get preyed upon by humans. Because of that the fish are extra friendly, they'll swim right up to you. Uh, lots of barracuda, there's like big five, six foot barracuda here. Sometimes they just stare at you with their mouth open. Um, they're not hungry, they're just getting their teeth cleaned by all the little fish in the peck on them. They don't bite. Nobody's ever been bit here. But yeah, everything's really friendly. You'll see like I wouldn't try and pet one. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't try and pet one. I'll uh, let you know we see like little nurse sharks here, reef sharks sometimes, uh, stingrays, yeah.
How did you know? <laughs> well, random calls on cell phones. Buck Island, looking back at St. Croix, all the way around you. Cheers! Cheers. Yeah, Don's house is straight ahead. We'll make a little pointer on the screen for it. Oh, yeah, we're okay. looking straight at Don's so you can house. See the teal house and go just to the right of the yep, teal just house to the up right there. Of the teal house. But we're not the only ones on this island, it seems rather popular. Got everybody out here enjoying the sun and surf. Not much for surf, but nice calm beach. I don't care. is pretty dang nice. Yeah. I agree totally. I could get yeah. very used to this life. Yeah this is a <laughs> this is one of the more easy lives I think you could get used to. Yeah. Separation from family is what to me is the hardest. Yeah. It's, yeah you're on an island and people come visit but just you don't get to see them as regularly and that I don't know if I would do that. Same would be with the boat. Yeah. I'd love a boat. Same deal with the boat. But I love my kids more. I love my family more. So here we go again. The water is just beautiful. There's my contribution to the table on Monster Claw. <laughs> so you see the shells. <laughs> and then he's not so big. 
There we go. So, starting to see more and more of the shell collection out here. You just stack them up everywhere. All up on the rocks. I don't know how the snails got all the way up on the rocks. But I'm going to show you something here in a minute that I really don't understand how they got there. They got down here and snails climbed that tree. They're just laying everywhere though. How they get all the way up there and start climbing trees? And then for all the all the snails that must have done something right in their life, they all come hang out here. That's really cool. It's like the nightclub for snails. They're all just hanging out. Snails, and big old gnarly spiders. Big spiders. Yeah. A couple of them look kind of hungry. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a cool. That's a cool So, so I'll take the back way through the jungle. Trails throughout, you can climb up to the top and see. Okay, cool. Oh. Yeah, that does look pretty scary. Is that termites? Yeah, that's a termite nest. Holy Houston. Yeah. And they have like little trails. Oh, here we go. See the little tunnels? Oh, they got tunnels. Oh, is that what that is? They're inside no of the No way. <laughs> okay, so here's the, the freeway yeah, of so termites. Yeah. So all the dark spots are trails for the termites to get back to the little house. To the, to the nest, to the main oh house. Oh my gosh, that's, <laughs> that's crazy. crazy. I am that so glad crazy. to run into you and get this information. <laughs> oh, <cool. laughs> this is fantastic. Look at that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They're eating their house though. They're eating their house. <laughs> The things you see in the jungle. There's our trimaran. So we didn't do a catamaran today, we did a trimaran. You can see it's got the three holes. Ferraro 2. It's been a family business since 1968. Rachel, one of our guys on tour, grew up doing this. She, uh, the first time on her boat was four months old. When she's five years old, they moved down here and, and she's been doing this ever since. Like that's our boat. Aurora too, a nice, awesome little trimer in. So it gets it when the wind's up. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Swimming out to the blue water. Peaceful, easy day. No bad day. Yeah. 
that is sketchy. Our day is done. We have to say goodbye. Time to head. Alright. Brave soul on the way back. Yeah. Life is grand. Just getting set up. Living the dream. We get to sit on the hammock. Great souls. So this is where I am. This is where I'll be. See? This tiny little thing. My trip back. They have come back. <laughs> oh, look at how spoiled are we? Hi, beautiful. Oh, my goodness.
Joey Idol going on. Get it, get it down. Wasn't the fan. Did he get that tight?